De sista sex åren så har jag regelmässigt gått relativt långt utanför min egen komfortzon. Men kvinn jag ska möta om lite, hon får det hela till att verka som pinax i förhåll till det hon har gjort och det hon framdeles gör. Hon heter Marina Abramovic och är er performancekunstner, vilket betyder att hon brukar sig själv fysisk i verkarna. Genom flera tio år så har hon testat gränserna för fysisk och psykisk smärta. I tillägg så är er Abramovic ansett för att vara kanske den största men också mest inflytelserika nålevande kunstnären. Naturligtvis är er jag jättespänd och lite nervös för att vara helt ärlig. Jag tror att det blir häftigt, men mest av allt så gläder jag mig bara jättemycket att träffa hon i verkligheten. My name is Marina Abramovic and I am performance artist. I really don't care because it came so late in my life. I just accept it as facts. I do art not because of that and I will continue to work art when I get out of fame. Fame comes and goes. So I take this as a just result of lots of work. I don't think about it really. I think that's more impressive by other people thinking how famous they am than me being famous. I think the work is important. I think the content, what I want to say, it's more important. And people should really stop being superficial and look things from outside and look deeper inside. You know, first of all, if you look into my work, my work is full of contradictions. I am accepting contradictions. I am doing things I'm ashamed of. I'm doing things I don't like. I'm doing things which have dangerous, which are difficult, and I'm thinking out of box most of the time. And I'm really also like to be tuned with the with the spirit of time. Today technology is something that is overwhelming and is a big part of our life. So ignoring technology is ignoring the the presence. So I have to deal with technology. And to me it's really interesting that uh, to to take technology and to see what I can do with myself and avatar and how I can actually create something which can be um, not compromising my work. So I'm in experimental phase and I hope I succeed. Can do it? No. Um. Let's walk. You know, it's the, the body has its own natural selection. So important things we always remember. Maybe you should sit on this chair. These crystals help to remember. Come, let's sit. Okay, now relax. So we are filming this. Okay, start breathing. Close your eyes. Okay, now tell me what really comes to your mind, which is nothing to do with interview or being blog or not blog. You know, sometimes the most honest questions are the best. So with the closed eyes, ask me what you really want to know. Like right now, this is the best blog we make. It can be so simple. It doesn't need to be intelligent question. We mm. always wanted to be so impressive, intelligent. Sometimes just simple, honest question is what we need. How does it to be me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what I put in your mouth. <laughs> uh, I was really thinking about the question one of the um, ladies were asking yesterday. If you get scared and sometimes just looking at your work on a screen, which I've done so far. Um, can be painful, like I get a physical reaction to it. You know, I get scared when I get idea, and then when I got into the piece, I don't think about it. I just, the only thing I, I wanted to is to really do it. And when I finish it, I'm so happy, I'm so free. I just want ice cream or something <laughs> simple, you know? And I don't look the past, because to me, melancholy of the past is something so unproductive. Because we always think, oh, how past is this, and how we done, it? what is the future, and how everything past was better. No, we have to only live in present and, and think about next step. So I don't think about things. I don't look my stuff, you know? I've done them for the moment, for me, and for the public. And it's like a children. They have to grow, and they have their own life, and they have to go into the world. Mm. And it's to you to look at them, not to me. I have to go to the next step and move somewhere else. Mm. So how you feel right now? You ever Relaxed. done? You ever done interview with closed <laughs> eyes? You still have closed eyes, and you're completely, you're getting totally emotional. And it's wonderful. Think about pain. Pain is a very interesting door to something else. But now what we're going to do? I'm not going to torture you. Can you slowly put the camera down? Let's go for that. Slow, 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 slow. You see, we see still we are in the shot. It was so difficult. But you were not going to cut any of this. 
<laughs> it was a great interview. <laughs> Actually, we've done something quite interesting. And I'm not doing this often. I mean, it just happened. All happened because you forgot the question. Do you see how it's important to forget questions that probably are not important? Now, let's see what's the question <laughs> I wanted to know. <laughs> <laughs>